Hi guys, just going to do some wiring here. Um, because this is a micro layout, um, I don't actually run a layout log um, bus system with a bus positive and negative. Um, whenever I do a micro layout, um, I run the feeds to every track with the ECC and then um, yeah wire them <clears throat> then join them all together and then connect them to two feeds um, feed terminals which the um, controller can connect to so so that way all you've got to do is uh, generally what I use can either use a special type of electronic plug to join it or I just use um, small um, alligator clips um, which come from the DCC unit and I just use um, some Phillips head screws underneath the layout where um, all the reds and the blacks have been joined and then um, then there's a feed wire to each of those screws and then all you've got to do is just clip the clips onto them and you lay it's powered. Um, when in time to come I've got space for my dream round the roof room shelf layout, yes each modular section will have a bus running from one end to the other and then I can do my feeds off that. Okay so I've turned that black wire um, oh. Red wire's dropped on the floor. All right, I'll do the same quickly with with the red. Just put a bit of solder on the ends. That's what they call titting. Titting it. All right, and then the way I do it, um, I always put my red wires to the the track that is closest to the front of the layout. So. Um, I know some guys would be appalled that I use this, I actually solder directly to the sides of the rails, um, but I just, for me it's, it, it's, it's sort of easier, don't do this, I've got some solder on the top of the rail, but you can always file it down, um, but yeah. I find it's barely noticeable um, but I always rust and weather the sides of my track. All right, there we go. And then when you paint the rust paint on there, it covers over the solder and you can always disguise that. Um, either strip a bit more insulation off and just have to be a copper or you just paint it and weather it brown or rust color and it's barely noticeable. Um, some people yeah, take the time to um, remove sleepers or solder underneath the rails, which is all well and good. Um, I'm an impatient person and <laughs> I simply just never tried doing that. Um, so I do it this way. Um, don't hate me for it, but we're all different. All right, so I'm not going to bore you guys with um, doing the whole layout like this I will um, when I have to get it underneath it um, I'm just going to solder the black onto the other side try, try not to hold the soldering iron on too long because doing it this way the risk is you melt the sleepers um, all right, so that's soldered on that side. Um, and if you get a bit of a blob, um, wipe as much of it off with the hot iron. But I, I've got a very fine file which I just, um, just lightly run over the top of the rails with. Um, all right, but in this case, I don't think I'm even going to have to do that. All right, so that's... Transfer to the next screen. 
that's sort of how I solder. Um, you'll see um, if, if I'm careful, oh, I can draw on the back there here. Yeah. Um, so you'll see uh, when I go to with the track before ballasting, um, you'll see that the wire and, and the solder there um, will actually disappear quite well. And I'll probably just remove just that top bit of insulation there. Um, surround that with ballast. And when the ballast gets painted and weathered, you'll barely see it. Um, and the other thing, I've, I've left some wires exposed around tracks before. Um, there is actually cabling around railway tracks, especially around points and that, um, to run the real live point motors, um, to run power um, to elec electronics and switch controls, uh, signal control, all that kind of thing. So, uh, so yes, so don't be too afraid. All right, uh, on to the next section. Chat soon. All right, guys, next instalment of this video. All right, uh, zooming in. I've finished all the wiring. Some is neater than others. Yeah, there's a black one just on there. But um, well, those lines um, I marked, so um, I didn't put any glue underneath the um, that section of the point. Didn't want to get the mechanism, slide bars and what have you stuck down. So here we go. So they'll be all painted. So anyway, yes, um, it is all wide. The only thing I haven't done is I'll show you underneath. It's a bit of a hodgepodge, spaghetti wiring. Uh, just soldered them all together but there isn't actually a main feed in as yet um, which so I'll probably take um, where I've soldered these ones here I'll probably solder two more wires and shoot those across to a um, couple of terminals up the back there somewhere um, these alligator clips are what I was telling you I use. Um, so I'm just going to make a another lead that can come off the um, the DCC system and just hook onto those. So that way I like it to have my modules with with no cables hanging off it. So the, um, all you got to do is undo those and um the whole baseboard is independent you know it can just be hooked up to control and trains run easy as that but <clears throat> if you've got wires hanging off feeder wires to connect to something else on it and then you're trying to load this in, into the car or move it um they just get caught and potentially broken off anywho um i'm just gonna Um, another thing I do, which some of you guys may not approve of, but um, I just use some cloth tape. So I'll just put like three pieces across and basically just stick it to the bottom of the, the layout just to keep it tidy and ensure it doesn't get caught on something and get pulled out. All right, so that's about all for this video. Um, <clears throat> You can see I've got um, my class 33 and my class 37, each just with one wagon or truck behind it. Um, I've just tested that it, it works because those two lines were dead. And that's why I haven't sh shown any trains running on it so far. At the moment, I've um, got the fish plates or the track connectors there. So the power's coming from Ashford North into that piece of flexi, short piece of flexi, and then 
all the feeder wires are connected to each other, the reds to the reds, the blacks to the blacks. Um, so trick is when I wire a layout, I always have droppers um, at the entry to the point and then <clears throat> then you have a set of uh, uh, droppers on the uh, on the uh, trailing edge of the points I call them um, so that way no matter which way it's switched could I use these are insel frog um, points um, I find there's less stuffing around than using the electrofrog ones and that way which either way they're switched there's always power to each of these lines so in DCC mode um, you can leave an engine uh, a loco running or leave its lights on or do whatever you want all right guys um, until the next installment um, we'll just finish finish the wiring and hopefully I can source my my other point and another piece of flexi track and get the whole track pan laid down and then I'll buy a couple of sheets of uh, plywood and start um, putting the backs and the, the back and the sides on okay take care happy modeling see you guys